to say you won't respect the results of the election. That is a direct threat to our democracy. My president, not my president, not my president, not my president, not my president. Vote Donald Trump! Vote Donald Trump! Vote Donald Trump! Vote Donald Trump! The peaceful transfer of power is one of the things that makes America, America. <laughs> Don't vote Trump. <laughs> Don't vote Trump. Uh, Don't vote Trump. Yeah, this shit didn't it. This is what? It is not a joke. And look, some people are sore losers. And, you know, we just, we just got to keep going. It has to be a joke. I do not believe this is happening. I'm literally about to fucking kill myself. And I'm not kidding. You better fucking fix this shit right now. I literally am going to die. I need an ambulance. I can't believe In her lifetime, she deserves to be the first female president. And that's what makes me so sad. Yeah. Bitch ass. Yeah, bitch ass nigga, boy. Big fuck Donald Trump, nigga. Fuck white people, boy. Fuck, fuck them, white people, bitch. Boy. Fuck <laughs> Goof. It's man's inhumanity to man, and um, for I, I don't think it's evil. I, I, I don't think it's evil. That is not a hate crime. Hate crimes are because of a person's racial ethnicity, their religion, their gender, a disability. It is your political leanings because someone doesn't like your political okay. leanings and they do something bad to you. That is not a but hate Alice crime. <laughs> Then at 8.45, just a mile from City Hall, shots ring out. Officers scramble to secure the scene, moving protesters out of harm's way. The shots grow louder. As at least two snipers fire on police from elevated positions. The Dallas police chief calling it an ambush against law enforcement. Bystanders also caught in the carnage. And right as she started to run, she caught a bullet in the back of her right calf. She immediately jumped on top of one of her sons. Teresa Williams telling us that her sister, Shatamia Taylor, at the rally to protest peacefully with her four sons, was shot in the leg while trying to shield her boys. Yes, I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. Hey, is that guy okay out there? The guy, who, is that guy been shot? Is he okay? Is anybody, talk, anybody talking to him? We're also uh, learning from our uh, Washington correspondents that the president and the vice president have now been informed of what have happened, and you can see here what looks like what that looks been, like a member of Congress that I recognize, but we'll wait for confirmation. We do have it, Nora. We've mm -hmm. told her the congressman who was shot in the hip has been identified as Steve Scalise. He is the Republican House Majority Whip. And as you can see there, it appears that they are uh, medevacking him. The Alexandria Fire Department and first responders are medevacking him to get 
treatment. And this shooting was, happened in the dugout of the yeah. baseball field. And as of this time, we do not know, uh, even though we assume he's in custody, the name of the shooter. I Last night, the White House Press Secretary, Sarah Sanders, said this is not the time, or actually it was today, this morning, she said it was not the time for political debate. And um, I don't know, we have 59 innocent people dead. It wasn't their time either. So I think now is the time for political debate. Eight women in Maine have been treated for complications related to female genital mutilation. However, at the end of June, lawmakers in Maine failed to pass a bill that was introduced to create strict local laws against those allowing and performing FGM. During discussion about the bill, six amendments were presented to the original legislation that significantly lessens the penalties for those involved in performing FGM. The ACLU announced their disapproval of the bill and said that Maine's criminal code isn't worth expanding to include FGM. They released a statement saying they would support an amended version of the bill that prioritizes education and prevention over criminalization. Vehicles, no violence except for at the building. Right, at this point the protesters are not... I'm not seeing any violence not... between people here, between them or the demonstrators. And there's nothing going on in the, the crowd? attacking the building, not the people that may be going in. Okay, that was my question. So they're I not can't attacking... Get over the... there, Alan. I'm over here, all I can see is right now. And the smoke's pretty thick. It doesn't yeah, appear like... Can... Can... No, there, there's nobody in the crowd, but right. So folks that are there to see Milo Yiannopoulos, where are they entering the building, and have you spoken to any of them? They were she just did a video about Facebook negatively, and I chose to put him in a spot that I knew wouldn't do well. What was the story? Keep it hush hush, because like, let's say something ends up on the YouTube front page, like New York Times freaks out about it, but they don't know it's just because my friends curate the front page. Nick is probably like one of the, he's one of the people I think who has more knowledge about YouTube as a, as a platform than probably almost anyone else that I know. Sean. All right, Lisa, and as they take a knee collectively, boos can be heard from this sellout crowd in Arizona. Why do you think you're a token? I know you're speaking in a sexually harassing manner. How dare 